All right, everybody, what's going on? And welcome to today's edition of Swag Talk. So we cover the swag inside and out. I am your tour guide around the swag. See Wells coming at you. And we're going to um, just take a little bit today and talk about the games that are already uh, on the schedule for TV for, uh, for the upcoming 2024 swag football season. And then I'm going to um, kind of throw my, th throw my um, suggestions in on games that probably should be on HBCU uh, Go. Um, and any games that I, I think should probably get put on any other network. So it's going to be a, a mix of games that we know and then games that we don't know yet. And I'm going to guess on those. So um, we're going to just go through the, the, the schedule week by week, and we're going to do that. Um, also, man, you know, basketball is over. Um, I'm still writing for BustinBrackets.com, so I have a new article up today. Uh, it's hot off the press, so y'all make sure y'all check that out. Uh, I'm taking a look at the 1992-1993 Southern University running, gunning Jaguars basketball team. So y'all check that article out. Um, also hit those socials, Facebook is Swag Talk, Instagram, Swag Talk, Twitter, Swag Talk 76. Um, like the video, share, comment your thoughts, um, and give me your suggestions on games that you think should be uh, televised. And, you know, we, and we'll do it like that now. So with that being said, man, let's go ahead and start this off um, with week zero. Uh, week zero, the MEAC Swag Challenge, um, Norfolk State versus Florida a and in Atlanta. That game's kickoff time is set for 6.30 p.m. and is on ABC. So. Only, only, you know, only sweat game of the day in week zero, uh, basically prime time on ABC. So, you know, everybody should definitely check that out. Um, and let's get as many eyes on that game as we can. If we don't, if you can't be there in the house, uh, make sure you have eyes on that game. Uh, week one, uh, we have three Thursday night games uh, on August 29th. All three will be on, uh, two of those three games will be on ESPN+. Plus. There's Jackson State at ULM, which is a 6 p.m. kickoff, and Alcorn at UAB, which is a 7 p.m. kickoff. Uh, both of those games are on ESPN+. And Pine Bluff is uh, at Arkansas uh, as a 6.30 kickoff on ESPNU. So ESPNU game for Pine Bluff right out the gate against the the, uh, the Razorbacks of Arkansas. So, yeah, you get a, get a, get a paycheck and an ESPNU pay, ESPNU. Uh, slides. So make sure y'all check that out. Uh, Saturday's action is basically ESPN Plus um, for the most part. Uh, Bethune Cookman at USF. That's a 6 p.m. kick. Uh, that's on ESPN Plus. Uh, Alabama and m at Auburn is on the SEC Network Plus or ESPN Plus. That's a 6:30 p.m. kickoff. Southern at McNeese is a uh, eight is a 7 p.m. kickoff. That's on ESPN Plus. Uh, Gramlin at ULL. Is a 7 p.m. kick. Um, that's on uh, ESPN Plus. If you're a Southern fan, a Groundland fan, or just a Swag fan, um, you're you have and you live in the Southwest Louisiana area or New Orleans area or Houston or you know Biloxi or whatever, anywhere on the I-10 corridor, um, if you have two games that you can choose from on Saturday, August 31st, within like an hour of each other, uh, as far as drive time. Um, so that, that works out nice. I mean, I wish the times were staggered. So maybe, you know, there was a day game and a night game. You could you could hit them both. But, you know, you have your choice uh, uh, on week one. Um, both games start at 7 p.m. Both are on ESPN+. Plus. Uh, Tennessee State and Valley, uh, that game has a uh, kickoff time. hasn't been determined yet. Uh, that's an ESPN Plus broadcast. Uh, the only two games on the day that, that aren't uh, announced as TV yet, uh, South Carolina State at Florida A&M and Texas Southern at Prairie View. Uh, I would love to see both of those games get um, a TV a TV um, spot. I'm going to predict that the, the South Carolina State FAMU game will get uh, HBCU go broadcast. Not, you know, not not 100% sure on that, but the, if I had to guess, that would be one. Um, you know, the Labor Day class should always, you know, have some opportunity, so maybe it'll be picked up um, by ESPN Plus as well. And then in the close out the week, um, you have the Orange Orange Blossom Classic on 
Sunday, September 1st, Alabama State versus North Carolina Central in Miami. That's a 2 p.m. kick on ESPN. So two uh, two ESPN Network um, games this week and a bunch of ESPN Plus games as well. So um, you have your choice of, of games to check out on week one. Uh, week two, um, Bethune Cookman host the Mercer. That game hasn't had TV announced yet. Florida AM at Miami will be on uh, the ACC Network X. Um, Miles at Alabama State is to be determined. Uh, Florida Tech Southern at Rice. That's a 6 p.m. kick on ESPN Plus. Um, Savannah State at Southern and Arkansas Baptist at Pine Bluff. Um, most likely won't have any TV. Uh, you know, they may be something local. Uh, both are 6 p.m. kicks. All, all point at Vanderbilt is on ESPNU at 6.30 p.m. Um, Lamar is hosting Valley. Uh, time to be announced on ESPN+. Plus. Curvy at Northwestern State, also on ESPN Plus, time to be announced. And then um, Alabama A&M hosting Kentucky State, Groundland hosting Tuskegee, and Lane at Jackson State. Uh, those games don't have any TV announced yet. Um, I would love to just for the uh, go from now. Uh, week two, oh, excuse me, week three. Um, Purview at Michigan State. That's on the Big Ten Big Ten Network. 2:30 p.m. kickoff. Uh, Western Michigan hosting Bethune Cookman on ESPN Plus. That's a 5:30 p.m. kickoff. Uh, Grambling at Texas a and Commerce. 6 p.m. kick. ESPN Plus. Alabama A&M hosting Georgetown, Kentucky. 6 p.m. kick. No TV. Uh, Pine Bluff and T Tennessee State facing off in the Southern Heritage Classic. Uh, Seven. Uh, 6 p.m. kickoff. Um, Interesting to see if that game will get any um, any any broadcast. Um, you know, being that it's the Southern Heritage Classic, will it will it get that? We'll see. Um, Murray Murray State hosting Valley. Um, no t no uh, time announced yet. No TV announced yet. Southern at Jackson State. Um, I could see that game getting you know ESPN Plus. Or I mean, I'm not quite sure how you know HBCU go feel about you know those two teams. They tend to not show either one of them, um, but. You know, if that was, you know, you had to pick a game for that week, that would be it. Uh, somewhere that game should be shown somewhere. Uh, Alcorn hosting Edward Waters, uh, no TV. And then Samford hosting Alabama State, uh, time to be announced. And that's the ESPN Plus game as well. Uh, looking at week four, we have um, Clark Atlanta at Bethune Cookman. That's a 2 p.m. kickoff. Uh, no TV announced. Austin P hosting Alabama A&M. That's a 6 p.m. kickoff, uh, ESPN Plus. Central Arkansas at Pine Bluff, uh, no TV announced. Southern at Prairie View, um, 6 p.m. kickoff, no TV announced yet. Alcorn at Magnese, ESPN Plus kickoff, ESPN, ESPN Plus broadcast, uh, 7 p.m. kickoff. Tech Southern at Lamar, uh, no time announced yet, ESPN Plus. Valley at Nichols, no time announced yet, ESPN Plus. Uh, Florida a at Troy. Um, show that game will be picked up probably ESPN plus. Uh, no kick up, no uh, time left, no time yet. Uh, Jackson State at Grambling, uh, no time, no TV announced, no time announced. I would, I would like to see that game get picked up. Um, the the thing, you know, there's two games on the, on this week that I would love to see put put somewhere. Um, they but they both both games feature teams that I'm picking to be. Um, Televised on HBCU Go the week before, so I doubt they want to do back-to-back -back weeks of one of those two teams. But um, maybe one, maybe Jackson and Gramlin could get an ESPNU broadcast. You know, if if, if a slot is available, um, I I can still see Prairie View and Southern hooking up on ESPN Plus as well. Um, those are two big games, so hopefully they can both be televised somewhere um, because both games should be entertaining. Uh, week five is our first. Uh, is our first week with with 
all SWAC games, uh, five games on the schedule that week, uh, September 28th. Uh, you start off with Alabama and State at Bethune Cookman. That's a 2 p.m. kick. Uh, no TV announced yet for any of these games. Um, Grambling State at Prairie View, uh, the State Fair Classic. Um, I think that probably, that, that's probably going to be an ESPN Plus game. Uh, um, Alabama and them at Florida and them. Um, time to be announced. All Corn at Valley and Jackson State at Texas Southern. Um, I could I can see Bethune Cookman and Alabama State being an HBCU go game, or that Grambling Preview game. Either one of those I think can be um, would be a great uh, HBCU go game. Um, I mean, obviously, anytime you go, you could tell about the State Fair Classic. I think that's great. So you know, if I had to pick out of the two, I would pick that one. Um, but I'm not opposed to Bethune Cookman and Alabama State hooking up on there either. Um, week six is. Um, October 5th, and this is a week that um, that features um, features a couple SWAT games and a lot of and, and a few non-conference games. Starting off the week uh, with Alabama A&M, Alabama State hosting Florida A&M. Um, that definitely should be a game that's picked up whether it's ESPN Plus or if 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 I if I chose to go with the Groundlands Groundland Preview game the week before HBCU go. This would be a great HBCU go game. Um, so I would put, I would pick that, uh, Florida A&M at Alabama State as HBCU go game. Uh, Alabama A&M versus Jackson State. Uh, that's a 4 p.m. kick. Um, the game's in Mobile. Most likely be ESPN Plus. Uh, Southern at Hosting Nichols. That's a 6 p.m. kick. Uh, ESPN Plus as well. Uh, Pine Bluff at Alcorn. Uh, no TV. Tech Southern hosting Virginia Lynchburg. No TV and Prairie View. Um, at, Incarnate Word as an ESPN Plus broadcast. So right now, on, on on paper, right now we only have one game officially scheduled uh, for for TV. But there is a couple games um, that I think will get TV that week. So we'll see how it looks when the schedule actually rolls out. Uh, week seven, um, October twelfth. We actually have a, a a Friday night game on October eleventh. That's Purview at Pine Bluff. That's an eight fifteen kickoff on ESPNU. Now I'm gonna take a quick pause to express my feelings on these type of games. Um, first off, I know that when you look at like the MAC, they they play Tuesday and Wednesday games. That's kind of their thing. Um, Thursday games are not as odd as they used to be, but I'm still not a fan of them. And Friday night games, I just you know whether unless it's like Black Friday, uh, you know that's a holiday. Um, other than that, I, I'm not a fan of Friday night college football games. Um, and an 815 kickoff is super, is, is pretty late as well. Um, I get, I get it, but you know, you, you're getting the TV broadcast and you're getting the attention and everything, but I'm just, I, I just don't like Friday night games. Now, I'm going to watch it because it's a swag game. And, you know, I want to see what's going on. But I, you know, I don't like Friday night college football games. I just don't. Um, Thursday night games, I'm hit or miss. I, I still feel like Thursday night games kind of take away from, you know, from your crowd. Because, you know, a lot of people travel to these games. Not, you know, maybe they can't get away in time to make it. Um, it's just it's just different. But, I mean, you can still draw well if you have solid attendance. You probably still a draw well, but if you're a team that doesn't have great attendance, you're not gonna have a great crowd at that game. Um, but there might be more eyes on the tube, so um, it, it's a give or take thing. But I, like I said, I'm just not a fan of Friday games for sure. Uh, Thursday, like I said, depending on what the game is, uh, I'm, I'm hit or miss. But I just don't like Friday games. I just, I just don't. It, just don't it just don't jive right with me and um i hated the i hated to see that that game get announced but you're moving a game off a of saturday that probably would have got lost in the shuffle and you put it on friday go ahead and get some attention now nah, i you know I, I i i feel like if you had to have purview playing in this game they probably should have been playing somebody maybe a little bit more. Um, they will have a little bit more stakes on it. 
Um, but that's just that's just me. Um, but Pine Bluff's a team that you know don't really got a lot to lose. So in terms of attendance and things, so you know moving a game there is it, no big deal. Um, Saturday, October twelfth, you have Valley at Alabama State. Uh, no TV announced at all corner at Gremlin. Uh, no TV announced. That game should definitely be uh, on TV. Um, Bethune Cookman at Alabama AM and Southern at Texas Southern. So um, I, the, the thing is, I have, I've had pretty much most of these teams on HBCU go already. So, you know, at some point, you're going to get in the replay. I'm trying not to repeat too many teams, but I'm also just trying not to repeat back to back weeks. So um, you can you can probably any one of those four games would make a you know make a solid HBCU goal game. Um, Alcorn and Groundland would probably be my first choice out of those, but any of the other games wouldn't 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 be a problem either um in terms of attention uh week eight uh we um have four conference games all corn at southern uh pine bluff at gremlin bethune cookman at valley and florida anime at jackson state that game needs to be televised on like espn U. I, I, you know, that game is going to draw a lot of attention. Um, if it could get an ESPN, U ESPN two broadcast, that game could get a lot of attention. Um, there was a lot of animosity building up there. There's a, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot going into it. So maybe it can get picked up. Um, Southern and Alcorn, most likely ESPN plus. Um, if 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 you didn't put Valley on on the week before, then Bethune Cookman and Valley would be a HBCU go game that you could that you could show that week um, to to showcase both of those teams. Uh, week nine is um, October twenty sixth. Yeah, Jackson and Bethune Cookman. Uh, Pine Bluff at Houston Valley, Texas a Commerce at Prairie View, uh, the Magic City Classic, which I'm quite sure is going to be like ESPN Plus. It uh, hasn't been announced yet. The official SWAC schedule hasn't been announced. So some of these games will be uh, on your ESPN networks. It just haven't been announced officially by the league yet. Uh, Grambling at Texas Southern. And then Southern and Florida and them is another game that I could see probably being an ESPNU game. Um, I, I I I think um, like I said, the Magic City Classic for sure. Um, like I said, depending on the previous weeks, uh, HBCU go out. I can see Groundland or Texas Southern or, or, or um, Bethune Cookman and Jackson State, depending on you know what the matchup was the previous week. Um, those are a couple of games I, I I wouldn't mind seeing there. Um, week e, week ten is November second. Uh, you have Groundland at Bethune Cookman, Texas Southern at Florida A and M. Southern at Alabama and them, Alabama State versus Alcorn and Mobile, uh, Pine Bluff at Jackson and Prairie View at Valley. Uh, I think Alcorn Alabama State should get a ESPN U broad, ESPN U broadcast, ESPN Plus, uh, depending on you know how those two teams are are doing. Um, and then other than that, you can probably take your pick um, they play uh, on se- at 7 p.m. on ESPNU, so that's another Thursday night game. Um, Southern is hosting Pine Bluff on Saturday. Uh, all corners at Prairie View, Jackson State at Alabama State, Bethune Cookman at Texas Southern, and Valley at Florida A&M. Um, 
Jackson State and, and Alabama State should definitely be a ESPN uh, broadcast, uh, ESPN U, ESPN Plus, uh, all corn at Prairie View. If the Jackson State Alabama State game doesn't get that, um, then that game should get it. And whichever one, whichever game gets the ESPN broadcast, the other one should get the HBCU go. Um, that that would be two good TV matchups for the week. And then uh, week uh, 13 is um, Prairie View at Alabama State. This is November 23rd. Prairie View at Alabama State, that's a game that should be uh, on the ESPN network. Uh, Texas Southern at Pine Bluff, uh, Florida A&M at Bethune, Florida A&M and Bethune Cooper in the Florida Classic. That's definitely going to be on ESPN somewhere. Uh, Alabama A&M versus at Valley and Jackson at Allcorn. That could be an ESPN Plus broadcast. Um, Alabama State and Prairie View is another game that's, you know, that could be televised somewhere. Um, I would, you know, I think that's a good HBCU goal game. Uh, Alabama State Prairie View could be a possible swag championship game. Um, so, you know, late in the season, we, you know, I think that would be a good one. And then Thursday, um, you have um, Tuskegee at Alabama State. That's on Thanksgiving. Uh, that game's on ESPNU. And then the Bayou Classic. Um, Remote, 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 um, most likely it is on NBC. So, um, that game is a 2 p.m. kick, uh, Saturday, November 30th. And then, uh, the week 15 is, um, the SWAC championship on, uh, what is it, December 7th? Is that right? So, you know, I think that's, you know, that game and then the celebration bowl after that. So that's pretty much, um, that's pretty much the the TV schedule that we have now. Like I said, the swag, oh, the the full swag schedule hasn't really come out yet, and of course the HBCU Go games haven't been announced yet. So there's gonna be you know some some changes to that. But I wanted to just kind of showcase that and, and and give you know give people an idea what you know what's what's what so far, and and you know kind of what I would like to see um, from from these these broadcasts. So with that being said, man, I'm your tour guide around the swag. See well, signing out, and I'm gonna catch y'all on the rebound. Peace.